what are the wonder drugs pharmaceuticals on the market today or in the near term pipeline. CART cell therapy and related adoptive cell therapies are changing cancer treatment. Basically they take the patient's own immune cells and engineer them to attack the cancer. It's super expensive and also effective. Currently new versions are being developed to broaden the types of cancers that can be treated and to make it more affordable. It's not exactly near term, but we keep getting significant steps forward in using CRISPRCAS9 to treat hearing loss. Harvard just had a breakthrough in using a virus to inject the genes into the inner ear, which is pretty hard to get to. As a 31-year-old who is losing his hearing slowly, 40 dB loss currently, started with around 20 dB loss, I have faith I will see a breakthrough before I reach profound absence of hearing in about 20 to 30 years it seems. HTTPS colon slash slash www.thecrimson.com slash article slash 2024 slash 1 slash 29 slash new dash hearing dash loss dash therapy slash greater than, we can say they recover about 60 to 70 percent of the hearing, co-senior author and HMS associate professor Zheng Yi Chen said in an interview. This might sound melodramatic but reading that children born profoundly deaf are having 60 to 70 percent restoration of their hearing makes me almost cry. That's huge. That's music. I'm very thankful during my developmental years I had normal hearing greater than, I think it is a defining moment in human history to develop treatment for the hearing loss population, Chen said. It's one of the best things I can ever imagine, he added. There's an antibody suppressor being tested right now that might allow people to grow a new set of teeth. It would be such a miracle for so many people. A delimimum https colon slash slash en dot org slash wiki slash ada map is very badass some uses hydrodenitis suppurativa in adults and some children Crohn's disease in adults and some children plaque psoriasis in adults psoriatic arthritis in adults ulcerative colitis in adults and some children Rheumatoid arthritis in adults. Juvenile idiopathic arthritis in some children. Ankylosing spondylitis in adults. Uveitis in adults and some children. Terzepatide has changed my life. Mount Jaro Zepbound. I had a lot of pain and inflammation in my body and it has taken that way. The weight loss has been a huge bonus, but it's cleared up my cystic acne and cracked heels, too. Hashimoto's wreaked havoc on my life and I couldn't get doctors to help. It took having a miscarriage a year ago to discover I have cause plus insulin resistance. I eat clean and exercise regularly and nothing helped. I still have all my healthy habits and thanks to this drug, it all finally shows. I'm also overall a happier person now, semaglutides and peptides. Personally I think Zofran is an incredible drug. I struggle with emetophobia and Zofran is a miracle. I wish it was available OTC so that I could have it on hand all the time. KARXT PCSK9 inhibitors they are a class of drugs that basically drop your LDLC levels so low that you can halt the progression of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, which is the number one cause of mortality in the United States. One of the drugs, in glycerin, is an injectable that you get every six months and can lower your LDL by 45-70%. They are super expensive and insurance will only pay for them in a narrow range of medical criteria. These types of drugs, if used more widely, could drastically reduce the burden of ASCVD, heart attacks, etc. Prednisolone in veterinary medicine. Preed is love, preed is life, everything gets preed it seems like. The one that jumps to mind in my lifetime is Zavaldi. HTTPS colon slash slash en dot m dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash sofosbuvir. Also sold under the brands Epclusa and Harvoni. A curative drug for hepatitis C, taken by mouth, 
that works for 95% of the people that take it. It replaced the intensely uncomfortable and long-lasting interferon treatments that were the best hope for people with hep C beforehand, which meant a year of suffering for a 40% chance of success. The problem? Fucking pharmaceutical companies knew they were onto some shit. It costs $84,000 for a 12-week course of a drug that costs pennies to make, and can literally save people's lives, but if you can't afford it then tough shit. Not sure if this has gotten any better since it came out, but it's always really pissed me off. LOY001 Anti-Aging Drug for Dogs, Currently in Clinical Trials Narcan is quite an impressive drug to counteract opioid overdose. Seeing it work is like watching a miracle happen. Both my little sisters have an ultra-rare blood disease that would have been fatal until recently. Their condition is only manageable with platelet therapy. However, there is a new drug that is basically an artificial 8-DAMTS-13. The thing their bodies don't produce enough of don't have enough activity of, that will effectively remove any risk of relapse. This is life-altering as relapse can mean organ damage, strokes, and more, should their platelets crash unchecked. My middle sister went through two major events where her platelets were below 6, should be in the 250-300s. She suffers memory loss, fatigue, pain, the aftermath of many strokes, vision impairment, and more because of it. She was misdiagnosed twice before her care team agreed to test for CTTP. My youngest sister unfortunately has it as well, which we found out through genetic testing recently. This is huge, as it saves her from so much risk. And, I find it even more amazing because this disease is so ultra rare, in all its forms, with CTTP being the most uncommon, yet we finally have a real treatment on the horizon. The new weight loss drugs are the miracle drugs right now. They actually work well for people to lose like 25% of their weight quickly. There is a drug currently in phase 3 trials to treat many ears disease and inner ear disorder. If it pans out, it will be the first drug ever to specifically treat this condition. The condition is currently incurable and the few existing treatments have little efficacy. I hope there will finally be some real help for this horrible condition. Ozempic is just the first. Soon there will be many weight loss drugs. I'm personally interested to see how psychedelic drugs develop as treatments for addiction, OCD, or PTSD. There's a lot of evidence that psilocybin, LSD, and ketamine have significant potential to make life a lot better for people suffering these afflictions, and more. A lot of medical startups have really promising initial research studies. Not exactly a pharmaceutical, but psychedelics and mental health. Opiates still are the greatest for pain relief. Nothing comes close. <laughs>